morning. <laughs> um, so it's Monday and it's like 7.30 because I was like overheating in my sleep and like then getting too cold because I opened the window and then it was like too loud because I live over a highway. So I'm just gonna be awake now. And I'm gonna try to take you through a day in art school. Raise this a little bit. So in the morning, I use the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution and then I use the ordinary buffet. Um, actually if I'm feeling a little bit dull though in the skin, I will get my uh, vitamin C serum and I will mix it in. But yeah, this. Mix them together. And you put that on top of the toner. This is an Andy Warhol shirt I made. It says Andy Warhol, but uh, it's a <laughs> a-hole also. And then if I'm trying to be extremely moisturized one morning, which fuck it, <laughs> I guess I will be, um, I go in with the ordinary rose hip seed oil and if I'm having like breakouts and stuff, which I'm not really right now, so I'm not gonna really try to treat it, but I'll mix some tea tree oil into this, tea tree oil into this, and uh, I just put it all over my face. So I'm just gonna boop, boop, boop. I think it's still January, but soon enough, we'll be in like last stretch of winter. And I cannot fucking wait for it to be warm out again and not in like the global warming way. A product that I really want but definitely can't afford is uh, the Bio, Bio Sans, Bio Essence, I don't know. Um, they're squalene. <laughs> I had like a sample of it that my friend gave me um, for a while and it was really awesome. But yeah, no, definitely cannot afford that shit. Instead, we use the Ordinary and we use Aquaphor because we are broke fucking art kids. We work with what we got. Someone's gonna fucking tell me that, like, I could find bad for your pores or some shit, and I'm gonna be like, I'll let you know if it reflects me. But really exciting. I have a winter formal to go to with my friends this. Friday and we're gonna look beautiful and gorgeous and I should definitely film that. My friend Brittany's gonna be doing my hair and my nails and we're gonna be doing our makeup so that's gonna be so fun. <laughs> that's like my full skincare routine in the morning. I don't usually do it this hardcore but I'm filming and I'm still locking eye contact with myself. I don't know I feel like full on eye contact would be too much so I think this is better anyway. I'm headed to my lecture right now, like 20 minutes early, because there was a false alarm uh, in my apartment building. So I hauled ass and grabbed my backpack, and now I'm just waiting.
So I'm back in my room after my lecture and it kind of occurred to me that I want, like I've been uh, recording the past couple days and I want to explain like why. So this time last year when I was a freshman, I was kind of coming towards the end of a really deep depressive state and I had to realize that I was the main contributor to my own unhappiness in a lot of ways. I knew that I was unhappy for so many internal reasons. A lot of the ways that I came to overcome these things and they have been very very recent. I'm still coming to conclusions on how to improve my standard of living for myself and some of those things just include really diving into my schoolwork and my creative work, making full meals. Uh, that really just helps with my eating dysmorphia and eating problems and exercising my body regularly because uh, exercise is a really great way that I can take my anxious energy and put it into something productive while also contributing to me enjoying how I look in the mirror a lot more. And I think just documenting this process overall is really nice because I have had so many amazing friends and family members just like supporting me through these major changes. I went through major weight loss after a breakup uh, from unhealthy means uh, almost a year ago, um, in March is when it kind of started. and trying to get back on track into a healthy living situation because when I was younger and around like 15 years old before I had gained a bunch of weight, I was sort of living healthily because I was on my parents' dime and I still am in a lot of ways, but um, now I'm not living in their house. So I'm having to figure these things out for myself. Uh, so I was living healthily but not mentally healthily. I was addicted to exercise and then if I didn't do it, I would mentally punish myself, sometimes like actually punish myself and I wouldn't even enjoy how I looked in the mirror even though I looked great. I physically was very healthy, mentally was not. And so what I really wanna do in these next few years or maybe like all the years that uh, happen from now on in my college life and then just like my adult life is I want to get back to the very healthy standard of living that I had but I want it to be healthy mentally so I just want to be happy and so summer of 2019 I found a lot of happiness and self-acceptance in uh, being single for the first time in two and a half years and through that it really made a solid foundation for me to come back to in college. That being said though, the first month of college was really, really tough because I had a lot of expectations for what it would be like to come back to Baltimore and I was let down by those expectations. It wasn't until around like the beginning of October did I really get into a healthy mindset again. Um, I was still kind of losing weight for a while, but my goal now is to maintain and just be healthy. And my main food goal is to not have to think about food as much, which sounds kind of crazy to people who don't have disordered eating as a past or as a present. The goal is to just live. So in recording my day to day, I want to show how I have been able to make a more healthy routine for myself. And I guess I should probably do more moments like this where I actually talk about how, why, and when. Oh, and I think someone's here. So yeah, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. I was just, I was just talking. Don't let me in. No, I was kind of finishing up. So I was just gonna put this in. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say now, I'm all flustered.